So imagine making $100 every single day with trading. Here we have $10,000 and this is what I made from trading just last month. And if you want to learn how to do it properly, then make sure to listen carefully and watch until the end. I will give you a step-by-step -step guide how you can make $100 every single day from crypto trading. So take some notes and listen what I have to say. Okay, so first of all, let's say you have a $1,000 right now and you want to flip that $1,000 into 10K, right? So you want to, to 10X your investment portfolio right 10x and this is actually a very realistic scenario when it comes to crypto trading first things first what you don't want to do and the biggest mistake you can do is actually risk way too much money so let's say you have one thousand dollar and i'm seeing that mistake people are making this mistake in crypto still over and over again so the first thing you can do if you have a one thousand dollar and you are risking actually let's say two or three hundred dollar for every single position so let's say you are wrong with your anal analysis for the next three times then you are already down around six hundred dollars and you are you have only four hundred dollars left you are getting emotional and you are making a lot of mistakes so the best way to go in my opinion if you have let's say one thousand dollar is to risk approximately two to five percent on every single trade so with that being said let's say once again you have a one thousand dollar right and you want to make a lot of money with trading so what i would basically do i would risk approximately max max around five percent for every single position for every single trade that i take so in this case i'm risking around fifty dollars for every single trade to make a potential return of 200 or 300 dollars right this is how we want to work when it comes to trading guys so now let me actually give you a step-by-step -step guide how i would actually start to trade as a beginner trader so we are looking right now at a four hour time frame on the bitcoin chart right step number one is actually very simple we have to identify the overall trend on the four hour time frame right on the four hour and on the daily time frame because you always want to identify the trends on the bigger time frame before you go into the smaller time frames and what we can see right now let's go actually into the daily time frame we can see on the daily time frame very simple that bitcoin for example you can also use this strategy with every other um, altcoin or anything you want to trade but we can see right now on bitcoin very simple we have a very strong uptrend on the daily time frame right how to identify an uptrend very simple an uptrend is based on higher lows and higher highs doesn't matter in what time frame you are trading this is a very simple uptrend we are making one high uh, followed with another higher high then we are making one low uh, followed with another higher low another higher low and so on and this is exactly what we can see right now on the daily time frame on bitcoin so if we are looking right now on the da uh, daily time frame we can see we have one low one higher low right and then we can have also one high one higher high another higher high and another higher high so we can definitely say that bitcoin right now is in a very strong uptrend on the daily time frame so this is step number one based on your analysis so let's say bitcoin is in a very strong up or down trend in an uptrend you always only want to take a long positions with this fo uh, followed strategy in a downtrend you only want to take short positions right so now we have an uptrend so we only want to take long positions so for the strategy you want to use two different very simple indicators you want to use the sma lines this is the sma line that i am using you go to indicators type in smas by veta it is used actually 1000 times because you can use with one uh, single indicator four different sma lines right and then we want to use the rsi right go to indicators type in rsi and then you will see the relative strength index right and this is what you can see right here below below the chart this is the rsi guys so let's keep things simple i'm only using the 200 sma line and the rsi so the strategy is as followed you want to get into long positions only when the rsi is oversold and the price is trading below the 200 sma line on the four hour time frame and you want to get into swing long positions all right guys so let's take a quick look on the uh, chart and let's identify one very simple opportunity so bitcoin is trading from sixteen thousand dollars all the way up to about twenty four thousand dollars then 
you can see right here bitcoin huge pullback with approximately to approximately $21,500 10 percent pullback price is coming below the um, 200 SMA line on the four hour time frame. So first criteria is met right here, right? Price is trading in a huge uptrend below the 200 SMA line. And then we take also a quick look on the RSI. For everyone who don't know, everything below 30, look on the right side on my screen, everything below 30 right here is considered oversold and everything above 70 is considered overbought and we want to enter when the rsi is oversold so in this scenario look at this guys we have right here a very oversold scenario when the rsi is below 30 and on top of that the price is trading below the 200 sma line so this is where we want to enter a long position for example let's say we enter a long position right here on this support right we want to enter a long position right here on the support what i would be doing what i would do basically in this type of scenario i would set my stop loss exactly below this previous low right here so you you identify a previous low this in this case uh, below twenty one thousand and four hundred fifty dollars then you set your stop loss slightly below the previous low for example let's say around twenty one thousand dollars even and then when it comes to your take profit target you can set your take profit above the previous pivot high on in this previous cycle right here so we can see the previous high is around twenty four thousand one hundred and fifty dollars right and then you can set your take profit right here twenty five thousand dollars and you can already see in this type of scenario you can actually get into a risk reward trade of one to five so that basically means if you get into a risk reward ratio of one to five you can risk let's say if you're risking 100 dollars with one position and you have a risk reward ratio of one to 4.8 or one to let's say one to five right let's say one to five in this case if you risk $100, you can make a $500 profit trade. And then back to your question, if you have, let's say, only $1,000 in your portfolio and you're risking, let's say, 10%, in the worst case, I would actually not risk 10%, but let's say you're risking 10% with one single trade. Imagine making $500 with one clean long position on your $1,000 portfolio, right? In this case, you're already up 50%, right? And your portfolio in this case would be around $1,500 already. And then you're risking another 10% of $1,500. So in this case, $150 and so on. And then you have a compound inf effect. Okay, guys, so this is one very simple scenario. Another one, for example, right here. Bitcoin is considered oversold. Bitcoin is coming down to about $19,700. We are also trading below the 200 SMA line. Then you want to look for the RSI. RSI once again oversold. You're entering a long position right here, setting your take profit above this previous high. Stop loss below the uh, previous low, let's say around $19,200. Another potential trade with a risk reward ratio of one to four. And in this case, let's say you are risking once again $100, you can make up to $400 in profit. So now let me give you a very quick example how I actually was executing one trade in my Discord channel, guys. All right. If you want to, by the way, if you want to uh, join my Discord, my VIP Discord, where I'm trading every single day, all you have to do, guys, is just to create a new account with the link down below in the description on BitGet. If you are looking for a great exchange for trading Bitcoin with or without leverage, check the link down below in the description on BitGet. Sign up. On top of that, you will get the trading fee discount that I negotiated for you guys. You will get it nowhere else, a 15% trading fee discount and the deposit bonus up to $8,000. All right. And then you can join my Discord where I'm always calling all of my setups every single day. So as you can see, this is one setup that I called and let me give you a quick live trade example. So what happened on the one hour time frame, guys, you can see Bitcoin came 
all the way down to about $27,000. So let's take a quick look on the RSI. RSI is definitely oversold around 20 at this point. And then we can also see on the SMA lines, we can see on the one hour time frame, SMA line is also around $29,500. So basically both criteria are already met on the one hour time frame and also on the four hour time frame, guys. We can see on the four hour time frame, RSI is also oversold. SMA line is around $28,500. So both criteria are met. And in this case, let's take an entry right here with the long position and let's set our take profit target. Let's say around $29,200 and our stop loss below this previous low, not too tight, not too far away. Let's go with the risk reward ratio of one to four, like the last time, for example, let's set our stop loss around $26,700. Let's play and let's see what happens. So as you can see, guys, this is just another beautiful example how this strategy actually is working. Look, if you are patient enough, guys, you have to be patient enough with this strategy. Look at this. I'm getting nearly stopped out on this week. This is where you don't want to get emotional and you have to be patient with it because most people, most beginner traders, if they see that their stop loss is getting all nearly hit, let's say around $26,930, they start to panic and they are closing their position this is what you don't want to do you want to remain calm in this situation right and you just want to wait out because you don't want to win every single trade you just have to win around 50 to 70 percent of your trade setups if you are going with the risk reward ratio of one to three one to four or so and you will be profitable in the long run so in this case you are actually making money let's take a quick look you're waiting for approximately three to four days you don't have to sit in front of your computer every Every single day for eight to or nine hours you can track all of your stuff on your iPhone as you can see right here for example if I have an open position on uh, BitGet I'm just even if I'm not at my p uh, computer I'm just trying to track all of my positions every single day on my um, iPhone right and this is why this strategy is actually one of my favorite strategies because I don't have to sit in front of my computer every single day for 8 or 10 or 15 hours and um, looking over my trades, guys, right? I have my app on my iPhone. I have everything by myself and I just can track my positions even if I'm not at home, guys, right? So this is just another great live trading example how to execute the strategy. And, one, and once again, the most important thing when it comes to trading, guys, is not being, being emotional, being disciplined when it comes to trading. And you are, I'm pretty sure that you can make a lot of money. If you had some value from this video, guys, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel for more trading tutorials. Like I said, join my VIP Discord, join my free Telegram if you don't want to miss out. Also, by the way, very important, guys, make sure to follow me right here if you don't want to miss out on anything. Here is my name, GM Crypto. Make sure to follow me over there. And with that being said, guys, see you for another tutorial and peace out. Bye.